What is up, Nerf Nation? I'm Naptown Nerf, and today we're doing an unboxing and review of the Nerf Rebel Focus Fire. So the Rebel Focus Fire is actually an AccuStrike blaster in the Rebel line. So that's pretty cool, and it comes with five purple AccuStrike darts, which I think is super sweet. I actually prefer the purple over the kind of weird orange, you know, old streamline color. But uh, that's just my preference. But it looks kind of cool. Uh, hopefully it will perform halfway decent. We'll see. So I don't see any range claims on the front here. So we'll just uh, go ahead and take a look at the back. But it does say, obviously, again, the most accurate nerf darts. These are the, definitely the most accurate nerf darts. Back of the box, it really is just showing you how the blaster functions. Showing you all these new... Rebel Blasters, uh, which I'm really looking forward to finding one of these guys, which is a Sweet Revenge uh, repaint, which is now called the Sweet Destiny. So I'll be definitely picking one of those up, probably a couple, when I find it. There's another bow here called the Tribute. I'm sure it's going to be terrible like most of the bows that shoot arrows in the Rebel line. But this is a fake bow, and hopefully it'll be halfway decent. And uh, let's uh, go ahead and get it out of the box. Okay, you get the blaster, which uh, the bow arms are just detached, so you just have to clamp those on. We'll do that in a second. You get your five AccuStrike darts, and you get some directions. All right, we'll go ahead and uh, attach the bow arms here before I start talking about the blaster. I believe you just slip this over the front somehow. Should be pretty simple, yep. And then you just push it just like that. Pretty easy. And then uh, this is your flip-up sight here. This is a pullback style blaster, kind of like a Pink Crush in the Rebel line, or a Night Finder, or Fire Strike, something like that. A little different though, because it's on top of the blaster instead of in the back. So it's also similar to a strong arm, uh, but it doesn't retract. So it just pulls back and stays like that. So that tightens your strings, but these strings are not doing anything. This is the bow arms are all for just show. Uh, it is pretty cool though that the bow actually has dart storage in top so there's actually room for six more darts i wish they would have actually given you darts to fill those that would have been really awesome but they did not especially since uh as of now i don't think you can buy these purple darts separate i'm sure they will come out with a pack well hopefully they do i would assume they would but uh i don't think there's one out that i know of so far nevertheless uh to continue with the blasters uh it's got some neat detailing. I really like this honeycomb. This has got this honeycomb stuff going on in the grip here and on back here in this blue part. It's pretty cool. The grip is small, but not as uncomfortable as most Rebel blasters, actually. And it has a nice length between the trigger and the back of the grip here, so it's pretty comfortable. Switch sides there so you could uh, see what the blaster looks like from this angle, and we're going to go ahead and shoot off a few shots here. That actually feels like it has a decent amount of power. Pretty good. It's kind of weird to pull back on this. I almost want to pull it from there. I don't know why. This just doesn't seem quite as long as I'd like it to be because this is pretty thick here and it's just not quite as wide as I think it should be to get a nice comfortable grip on it, but not terrible. Is that five? No, one more. Cool. And in case you didn't know, this will fire regular uh, Nerf darts, regular Rebel or Elite style darts. I shouldn't have any issues doing that. We'll test that out here in a minute. But yeah, I think this is actually a pretty neat looking blaster. I do like the new design they have going on with this like feather that's breaking apart. I'm not sure if it's bloody or what it is. I mean, it is pink. It's not red, but it's kind of a neat, cool logo, I guess. Decal whatever you want to call it. and But uh, obviously, as most the blasters these days that Nerf puts out, the right side of the blaster is painted, and the left side has a bunch of warnings and cautions and stupid stuff. Very boring. <laughs> and not painted at all, obviously. So Also, this I thought would actually get in the way more. I'm not sure what this part is. It must just be for looks because it's obviously... Not for shouldering, because that is 
impossible unless you're like a two-year-old maybe. But, uh, <laughs> and I don't think a two-year-old could use this blaster. But nevertheless, um, it doesn't get in the way too bad of your wrist. And I'm sure somebody smaller than me, it wouldn't get in the way at all. But it, it does a tad, and it might just be because I have my Fitbit here on. So I'm going to take that off and just see how it works without that. Yeah, it's not terrible. I really don't, it doesn't bother me too much. But it is kind of awkward that they have this, and it's so short. Like, they Rebel puts the shortest stocks on their things. I'm like, I don't care if you're a girl or what. This is not going to work. This is not a shoulder bolt blaster. I wish it was just a little bit longer. I mean, just to make it usable for somebody, but... Whatever. I still think it looks cool. I really like the blue back here, though. I think that's neat. I just wish it was a little longer so it actually would function. But then there's this sight, which is kind of different, but there's like three levels here. So I guess it's more for like angling it. So that's kind of neat. Uh, so you, if you want to do a flat shot, you go there and you can go up there and that'll be like a slight angle and then full angle. You go up like that. So I guess that makes sense since it's a, a bow. Uh, because you would shoot a bow on an angle, right, I guess. Yeah, I think it's a neat looking blaster. I really do like the shape of the bow arms. I think it's a cool look for somebody that is into like a crossbow-like look. So, I mean, I, I, I know I'm not the target market here, so I'm trying to think like a person that would be. So I think that this is a pretty neat blaster, and I, I like the size of it. It's not tiny, but it's not huge, and uh, it looks pretty cool, I think, so... Let's go ahead and uh, take it out to the range and put it over the chronograph. All right, guys, we're gonna do uh, some shots here over the chronograph. We'll do first. We'll do the five AccuStrike darts that came with, and then I'll throw some Rebel Elite darts over the chronograph. So here we go. Fifty-six. Fifty-seven. Fifty-four. Duplicate fifty-four. Uh, and that one said error. I'll do one more just for good measure. Okay. 53. All right, throw some elite darts in there. So mid 50s, nothing spectacular there. But again, those are heavier darts, so they're not gonna get quite as good at FPS as your elite darts. So we'll put those across and see how they do. All right. Hmm, 51, that's strange, that was even lower. 57. 59, 65, that was a bit better, 58, so a little bit better, but nothing too too good there, so uh, still not getting quite elite ranges with this, but uh, we'll go ahead and put this on the range and see how it does there, okay, we'll go ahead and do five level with the AccuStrike, and then with the Elite, and then I'll do some angled shots, go ahead and put that down. Those AccuStrike darts go dead straight, I'm telling you. Very accurate, that's for sure. Okay. It is nice they put some storage up there on the, the bow arms for you, because uh, if not, they would be doing basically nothing. I mean, I guess this is helping it push forward a tad bit faster, but not really. Alright, let's see how we did. For some reason this elite dart went pretty short. Uh, these are just above 31 feet. Then another AccuStrike dart about 32 6 inches. Then two more here just under 35 feet. And one more about 35 8 inches. And then we have our next elite dart just short of 37. And then another one right at 38 feet. And maybe about 39 6 inches. And then the furthest one went up here at about 44 feet. So not great ranges out of the blaster, but uh, let's go ahead and try some angle shots. Let's uh, flip up this sweet sight here and uh, line it up with that top notch and see how we do. Pretty good there. You might actually be able to hit something angled with an AccuStrike dart. Pretty good. Oh, one more. Miscounted there. 
Cool. All right, throw some elites in. Definitely better ranges out of the elite darts. Maybe getting close to that 75 foot range claim. Oh, that one went way to the left. All right, see how we did? So AccuStrike darts, the shortest ones are just a tad bit past 55 feet. Then we have our third one, just short of 57. And then the other two, right around 60 feet. Then we're up here with the elites and this one was the one that went off the left. It's about 64 feet. Then two more right around 67. And then we had two that actually went past where I put out the tape measure, which I probably should lay, roll it out a little further, but uh, probably about 70 and 75, 80, something like that. So, All right, guys, so this thing is pretty mediocre at best, in my opinion. I do think it's a neat-looking blaster. I do like the bow arms, the way they look, but they don't really have a purpose uh, besides holding darts, which is better than nothing, I guess. But this is basically a Spectre reshell, or, you know, it's very much, in my opinion, like the Alpha Hawk uh, AccuStrike blaster that just came out in the Elite line, which is basically a Spectre 2, but I don't know. I think it was performing a tad bit better than this one, uh, in my opinion, so I'm not sure if they're exactly the same internally or not. But, you know, it's all right. I do think they did some cool things with uh, design-wise to this with the honeycomb thing, uh, honeycomb design on the back here. I think that's cool but uh, the, the sight is kind of interesting in terms of trying to sight in your angled shots. I think that's kind of neat. But overall, performance was pretty lacking. I actually had some missed chambers where it wouldn't rotate the barrel when I was messing around with it. I actually didn't do that on video, so maybe that was my problem. I don't know in terms of what, the way I primed it or whatever. Let's see how it does here. It seemed to be doing better after I used it for a little bit. So... It seems to be working okay now, uh, so hopefully that was just a little fluky thing, but should be noted. But yeah, I mean, I don't know. It's a cool looking blaster, uh, but other than that, unless it's something you really like the looks of, I wouldn't really recommend this because it's not per performing very well, and it's nothing really new. Uh, if you want, you know, the same sort of thing, you know, there's lots of better options out there, and you can just buy the AccuStrike darts and put them in any other blaster and it probably will work better than this one so uh yeah that's been my review of the nerf rebel focus fire uh cool looking blaster but that's about all i have to say for it uh hope you enjoyed the review and uh as always peace out